Hi guys. So today I, I come to work on the bus and um, Randy has been getting some help from Chris this morning, but there's a man straddling my bus. <laughs> Let me see if I can um, get you a shot of that. It's a, it's kind of an amazing sight. So Chris is literally in here from where we cut the tire wells at straddling the tire wells. Okay, so I asked Chris to come and help me this morning because after all the struggle I had with that side, I need a little uh, tune in here. So he had me go get some straps. This is Chris, everybody. How are you guys? So, I got scraps of similar size. Uh, this is what the, the cover is. I figured this will be the setup for that to test it, right? Yeah, so basically what we want to do is since the welder's outside, we're just making it so that we don't have to run in and out 20 times to get the machine set right. So I've kind of got it pretty close, then we'll just take that piece of angle iron and just kind of weld it to it and see if we're really close. Another part of the problem I had was I, every time I got to weld that, I burned that undercoating and I think it was foul on the weld. Is that possible? Well, it is. Uh, we, after we tacked this, when you grind that, let's grind down a little bit farther, if anything else, because that undercoating is kind of uh, flammable. Then it's just going to catch on fire and make that smoky stuff. So you can't see. use your flex wire like you were using last week, that uh, undercoating doesn't interfere bus. as much because the, the, oh. smoke, the smoke actually takes the cast away. So when we're doing it with this gassed wire, so CO2, that it's an argon mix, it uh, tends to make your fire hotter that's caused from the undercoating. And then you're getting some down there, just some tacks. Yeah, I got that cleaned off pretty good down underneath there. Then we'll put the, the sheet on. Everything else, all your other stuff looks clean enough that this wire, we might turn it down just a little bit when we do that. It's about your sides here. Were you burning through on that one? No. That you're, I think that you're set up just right now. Okay. But I will be right out there so you can holler at me anytime. Awesome. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> now if I can get out. You stuck in the tire well. <laughs> that was quite a sight from out here. You know, two legs. <laughs> <laughs> Cal, you can see my legs. Yeah, you could a little bit. It's like, oh, cool. I got to get this. to do it on both sides. Hammer time. <laughs> it's hammer time. <laughs> Wanna see my hammer trick? What? This is a pretty heavy well, one. I don't know oh. if I can do it. Do it again. Can we do it? Are some... you... I know, I know. Well, I was too there close. Woohoo! Fact is, being I 
amateur welder, the thick, the thin metal is just a booger to handle. So Chris's setup worked way better, no doubt about that. Uh, so you can see it here, and here's the one with the flux core without the shield of gas. So I hope you can tell in the video. The line at the bottom of the page is, I don't think they're going to come out. So. <laughs> and, and they're getting covered up. Well, they're strong enough to stay in there, and it's going to take some Sika Flex to seal them up tight. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm grateful that Chris helped me, but even with his help, it still looks a little rough. But I'm grateful that they're done, and they're in there, and I'm sure they're not going to ever go anywhere. And I know um, this has not been Randy's favorite job of the whole conversion. <laughs> it's just been, well, well it's it, been a struggle. That undercoating, when you weld it, burns. You can't grind it off, you can't sand it off, and then it burns, and the smoke is toxic, and we had a fan going to exhaust it, and, and yeah, not my favorite one, but the upside is I'm done. There, give me your glamour shot. <laughs> you can come up under and see. There, I got it right there. I got you. Oh, baby, you Peyton now. Now you're cooking with gas, girlfriend. It's the end of the day, and Randy was able to get that second tire well covered and then I got them both primered inside and out. So it was a great day. So we just wanna thank you guys for following us along on this journey and know that we appreciate all of your support and hope you guys have a wonderful day. We love you. Bye.